Welcome to my channel. Sarah Ferguson appears to take a swipe at Meghan and Harry. Sarah has taken a tiny wheel swipe at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in the bluntest remarks as a royal has made about the couple yet. Sarah has taken a tiny wheel swipe at Prince Harry and Markle in the bluntest remarks as the royal family has made ever made about the couple yet. The Duchess of York, who is divorced from Prime Prince Andrew but lives with him at the Royal Lodge in Windsor, said royals who leave that firm must decide what they are in or out. Without explicitly using Harry and Meghan names, the Duchess said royals who choose to leave the fold cannot sit on the fence. The Duchess made the comment while reflecting on her own decision to leave the royal family following her separation from the Duke of York in 1992 and the subsequent divorce four years later. Well, you cannot have it both ways. You cannot sit on the fence and keep on foot in and foot out. You are either in or out, she told. But they don't cry about not being invited to weddings. You choose to leave, now go and leave it and be it. The Duchess also appeared on a British television show Loose Movement on Wednesday to promote her new romance novel, A Most Intriguing Lady. During the chat, she said she did not expect an invitation to King Charles' coronation because she cannot have it both ways. She has, however, invited to Queen Elizabeth II in funerals as she maintained a good relationship with Her Majesty after her divorce from Andrew. The Duchess was not invited to Prince Philip's funeral in 2021. Only 30 mourners were allowed to attend because of the COVID rules. The Duchess said she planned to watch the coronation on TV but some up uh, some bunting and enjoy a little tea room and coronation chicken sandwich. Despite no longer being married to Andrew, she is allowed to continue to style herself as a Sarah, Duchess of York. She will lose her title if she ever marry marries. I always love to watch it on telly because you hear a lot on telly. Uh, commentator always good and then all the family come back, she said. Because remember I am divorced and from him so I don't expect you cannot have it both ways. You cannot be divorced and say I want this. I think it's really great to be sportive and also when the family come home. I know all the ins and outs commenting on television. The Duchess said that Charles will be an amazing king with a lovely Camilla at his side. She also threw her sport behind the decision to make a Camilla title queen rather than a queen consort following the coronation. The Sussex stand down as a member of the royal family and dropped their HRH title in January 2020. They no longer receive any public funds. We tend to step back as a senior member of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continue to support Her Majesty the Queen, the couple said at the time. The later moved to Montico, California with their children, Arch and Libet. It's unclear whether the Sussex will attend the coronation. They said they had received email correspondence about the event but did not go into details. Harry is understood to have a demanding apology from Charles and Prince William before he considered whether he will attend. But that appears not to be forthcoming after Harry disclosed a series of private details about the family in his more spare Netflix documentary and interview on both sides of the Atlantic. The latest interview had noted the first time that Duchess of York has appeared to distance from herself from Meghan. She previously told the UK daily dark craft that she does not know megan and had not have really met her i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and for more information and news thank you so much